Hello everyone, this is Pyanchi Gupta here. In this video, I have a very big announcement for you and that is, I have made this project open source that is, that we are making in our series that is, real-time stock tracker Django app in which I have uploaded around 5 videos and I have covered everything from scratch like how to make a real-time stock tracker app using Django channels, Slurry and Redis in which we can track stocks using real-time stock data, right? So basically in this project, we made a stock tracker app in which we can choose the stocks that are listed over here. And after choosing those stocks, we can see the real time update of these stocks. Like we can see the real time data, like what is the change. And like you can see here, we can see the change here. If it's a positive change, then we can see that in green. And if it's a negative change, then we can see that in red. And you can also see that this data is getting updated on its own after regular intervals because basically we are using web sockets here to update the real time stock data on the front side. And also we are using Celery to call that third party API to retrieve that real time stock data after regular intervals. Uh, and inside Celery, we will basically call that broadcast method of Django channels to send the stock data that user has selected for to the front side. So now I have made this project open source. Many people were asking me for the source code of this project. So now I have made this project open source. Now anyone can get the code for this project anytime, whenever you are stuck anywhere. So also I have made this project open source so that you can learn how to contribute in an open source project, right? Because it's very important, like you should know how to contribute in an open source project. And as a beginner, we basically have a fear to contribute in an open source project, right? Because they have a very large code base and we have to go through their large code base to understand how things are happening there. But now I have made this project open source so that you can learn how to contribute and work collaboratively. Because here we have a small code base, so you can easily go through this code. And many of you, those who have followed that stock tracker app series, you must be knowing all the functionalities that we have used inside this project. So you know the functioning. Now only thing that you have to do is you have to contribute to this project. Uh, so as to enhance your skills to work in an open source project. Because many events happen like GSOC, Google Summer of Code, then Girl Script Summer of Code and a lot of more events where you can participate and contribute in an open source project. Except these online events, you can also directly contribute to an open source project anytime. So this is a very important skill. As a developer, you should know how to contribute in an open source project because this not only enhance your contributing skills but this also give you a chance to understand how things are actually working and how big organizations are working and using uh, the code efficiently uh, this also helps you to build your network connect with more people in the same field in the same industry and learn from them right so this is a great chance for you because here you can start with a small project right and those who are beginners also they can also contribute in this project and you can and if you know nothing about django channels or slurry and you are in a learning stage only right you know you don't know about advanced concepts right now then also you can contribute you can start by just modifying the css of its html file or adding some html over it improving the user interface because the main motive of making this project open source is to help you in enhancing your contributing skills in an open source project. Okay, so here I have added certain new files here and basically I have named this project as Let's Talkify. So the name of this project we basically decided on Discord server. You can join my Discord server as well where we have a healthy chat over coding and programming and you can also ping me your doubts or queries anytime on my Instagram handle. So here I have added certain new files here like uh, this readme.md file which will basically cover what this project is all about. Here I have added certain things like about and contributing.md file and other files include this license. So these are some files that are necessary for an open source project, right? Because anyone who wants to contribute to a project, to an open source project, first go through these files and after going through these files, if he feels that he will learn something after contributing to this project, then only he or she actually contributes to our open source project. So these are some files that are necessary. So here I have bought this license from this uh, website that is uh, choose license.com. 
there are basically different kinds of license are available like MIT license and other stuff okay so I have choose this GNU you can go through this license here but currently it's of no use for you you can just start contributing here and any organization that makes its project open source they follow certain guidelines or certain github flow to do contribution and any organization that makes its project open source they follow some guidelines or some github flow method so that there are no issues anytime so that they add inside this contributing.md file which contains the basic workflow like how anyone can contribute to this open source project okay because any organization can have a different workflow like a different git and github flow method so here i have followed this basic contributing git and github flow that most of the organizations follow so here are some guidelines that about pull request like how you have to make a fork and then make a pull request so that everyone who are contributing to this project follow the same guidelines and we face no issues at all and also you can go to this workflow that is fork and pull git flow so this workflow will act as a basis for our open source project you can go through this documentation in this documentation they have covered everything in a very simple manner you can easily understand this like how to make a fork how to clone and how to actually make a pull request so they have covered everything like every command and every workflow right and after you have made the pull request i will go through your code and if it's useful to our project then i will definitely merge that and in this way you will build confidence of how to contribute in an open source project and later on you can work on big projects of big organizations and contribute there okay so here it also covers some diagrams as well like this is the topic branch this is master branch upstream branch so all that stuff has already been handled so if you know some um, and if you know some basics about git and github then you will definitely understand about this and even even if you don't know the basics about git and github then no worries i will make a separate video for that very soon like how to make fork and what is a fork what is clone when you should fork and how you can make a new branch and merge that how you can make a pull request for all that i will make a separate video and i will add that in the description box of this video link for that all right also what you can do is you can go to my instagram handle and here you can find one post that is git and github from scratch part one so that you can understand the basics about git and github i have tried to cover everything in this but i will also make a part two which will basically target the uh, open source contribution like how you have to make a fork and clone that repository and actually make a pull request okay so i will make a separate post for that so till that you can follow this git and github from scratch part one okay to make your fundamentals strong and here i have also add one more file that is called as code of conduct.md file which basically contains the behavior norms that you must follow while communicating in an open source community you can go through this and contribute to this project in order to develop your open source contributing skills that's it for this video i hope you have liked my decision of making this project open source and will contribute to this project and develop your open source contributing skills also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i am trying my best to help you in whatever way i can so stay tuned stay connected see you in the next video